Hello guys and welcome to today's video. So today we will be talking about Black Friday. So first of all, when is Black Friday? Black Friday usually comes after Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, 10th of November. So usually it's the fourth Thursday in November. This is Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving this year is going to be the 24th of November. So Black Friday is going to be the 25th of November. Of course, it's the last Friday in November. So it's almost after 15 days. After 15 days. So mark your calendar if you are looking for an item with a very good price. Now, let's jump to the main question. Is Black Friday anti-Muslim? Because for Muslim people, Friday is their holy day of the week where they go to Juma prayer. So when they hear Black Friday, they think, uh, wait a minute, is this name anti-Muslim? Actually, it's not. So let's check this together and see where does the name Black Friday comes from. We have this reading test. Let's read about Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And after that, we can answer the questions together. The day after Thanksgiving is the start of the holiday shopping season. Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, so the day after is a Friday. This day has come to be known as Black Friday. It has been the busiest shopping day of the year since 2005. Busiest shopping day, it means we have lots of customers, lots of sales, and lots of shopping. Why? Because on this Friday, it starts the Christmas shopping season. Usually, people who celebrate Christmas, they need to buy lots of gifts for their family members. So, on the first day of the Christmas shopping season, we have special sales. Most stores offer great deals on Black Friday. Great deals, great prices. They open their doors in the wee hours of the morning, in the early hours of the morning. Wee hours here means early hours. They try to attract shoppers with big discounts, discounts, sales. Some items like TVs are much cheaper than usual. Stores may even lose money on these items. They hope that shoppers will buy gifts for other people while they are in the store. So these cheap items are used as bait to lure you into the shop so you can buy many different things. Black Friday is a great time to get good deals. The problem is that there aren't enough low-priced items to go around. Each store may only have a few. These items are in high demand. In high demand, many people want them. People stand in long lines to get such great deals. They may line up hours before a store opens. They may be hoping to get a low price on a TV or laptop, but not everyone who wants one will get one. Some people leave disappointed. Not everyone, we are talking about the people, who wants one, a one low-priced item, will get one, will get this item. Some people leave disappointed because they couldn't buy the item they wanted. The situation can be tense. Some Black Friday events have been violent. Large, eager crowds have trampled workers. Trampled workers, so the worker is standing, they push the worker away, and they start running to the items. Fights have broken out over toys or people cutting in line. So I want to buy a toy, another person wants to buy a toy, we fight over it, which is crazy for adults to do. Uh, cutting in line. So I've been standing in line for many hours, and then a person tries to come 
and cut in line and stand in front of me. So we start fighting. People have shot one another over parking spots. So just shoot him with a gun. But most Black Friday events are safe and fun. Still, if you plan on going, expect large crowds and a bit of shoving. Shoving, it is when a person pushes you from your back or from your side. So they shove each other. So they want to get to the items quickly. Okay, let's watch a fight together. So check this one out. What for eager shoppers across the country was a black and blue Friday. Ugly scenes, people slugging it out right in the middle of the aisle, fighting to get their hands on some of the best deals. This Whoa. woman, we can't get enough of this video, using what looks like a stun gun on another bargain hunter. And ABC's Rob Nelson has been following this all. It begs the question, Rob, has Black Friday gone a bit too far? I think most people would say yes. Good morning, guys. It seems to be a new part of our holiday tradition, people whipping out their smartphones and cameras to grab footage of all that Black Friday chaos this year. No exception with brawls, bullet holes, even a Four stun holes, gun, a all captured on video as America's biggest shopping day once again came with a violent side. Black Friday bedlam once again took Roll over America's fight. malls and department stores. Perhaps the most alarming is this footage from inside a Philadelphia mall where two women began brawling at 2.30 in the morning. Cat One fights. eventually two pulling fights. out a taser. You can hear the crackle of the stun gun. And watch as the sparks fly. And check out this brawl from inside a Texas Walmart as two women battle for a TV set. Police eventually throwing one woman to the floor and cuffing her. The situation also came to blows in this parking lot of a California Walmart. Crack that food, dog. Security expert J.R. Roberts says stores taking extra steps to lure in big crowds are not always taking extra steps for security. A lot of the retailers who've convinced people they will get one-in-a-lifetime deals, and so they have to get there. And as a consequence, we see a lot of chaos. But with Black Friday... Sh okay, enough. Let's go back to the... Okay. So now we are here. This is the origin of where the name come from. So where does the name Black Friday come from? So let's go back to the reading. We are here. So, where does the name Black Friday come from? It was first used in Philadelphia in the 1950s. The police called this day Black Friday because of the heavy traffic it drew. In the 1960s, stores tried to rename the day Big Friday. It didn't stick. The name Black Friday continued to spread across the country. It seems that it's here to stay. So... This is its origin. So the police named this day Black Friday because of the heavy traffic. And of course, I think that the police were suffering with this. They tried to change the name, but it didn't stick. It means nobody wanted to use this name. It's Black Friday. Now people all over the country take part in the event known as Black Friday. It is even spreading to other parts of the world. Stores have held Black Friday events in the UK, Australia, and Brazil since 2012. In Costa Rica, Black Friday is known as Vernes Negro, and in Mexico, stores offer an annual weekend of discounts. They call it El Bien Fen, which means the good weekend. In Spanish, I guess the language of savings is universal. Everybody wants to save money. Okay. So we have some questions here. Let's read and choose the correct answer. According to the text, why do stores set prices so low on some items that they lose money? They want people to enjoy the holidays? No. 
They hope people will buy other gifts while they are in the store. Yes. So this is B. We can find the answer in the uh, second paragraph. Or the first one. Ha, huh, here. They hope that shoppers will buy gifts for other people while they are in the stores. In the second paragraph. Which is not true about Black Friday. Black Friday is always the day after Thanksgiving. This is true. Black Friday is the busy shopping day of the year. True. Black Friday is the national holiday. False. Black Friday is the start of the holiday shopping season. True. So the answer is C. Where does the name Black Friday come from? Uh, the police call this day Black Friday because there is a lot of traffic. True. So the answer is A. Which best explains the main idea of the third paragraph? The third paragraph is here. This is the third paragraph. So let's check for the main idea of it. People send in long lines on Black Friday. Black Friday is the best time of the year to get good deals. Black Friday is really disappointing time of the year. Friday Fridays are limited and not everyone will get one. D. So this is the answer. Which country does not participate in Black Friday? So let's check the final paragraph. I think we didn't say anything about France. So this is Costa Rica. This is Mexico. And this is the United Kingdom. So we didn't say anything about France. So the answer is France. So this is the UK, Australia, Brazil. Yeah, no France. Which happened first? So we're talking about the chronological order. Stores tried to rename the day after Thanksgiving Big Friday. Black Friday events began happening in Australia. Police began calling the day after Thanksgiving Black Friday. Black Friday became the busiest shopping day of the year. C. This happened in the 50s and 60s. So this is here. It was first used in Philadelphia in the 50s. After that, since 2005, it became the busiest shopping day of the year. And in 2012, it started going global. Which title best expresses the author's purpose in writing this text? So the reason. So what is the uh, title if we want to talk about the title? Black Friday, stories from the parking lot, why you should go to this year, the stuff that you should know, how to save money. So this is C, the stuff that you should know. So this is general information about Black Friday. Question eight, not important. Which was not cited as one of the downsides? Downsides, negatives. Stores run out of high demand items quickly. Nobody really saves any money. There are large crowds and lots of shoving. Sometimes violence occurs. So, which is not a downside. Nobody really saves money. No, this is not true. Many people, they get good deals and they save a lot of money. And the final question, which best explains why Costa Ricans call Black Friday Vernus Negro? Costa Rican stores don't want the shopping day associated with American violence. Vernus Negro sounds more exotic and exciting than Black Friday. Costa Ricans want to establish their own shopping tradition. This is how you say Black Friday in Spanish, the language of Costa Rica. So let's check together. In Costa Rica, Black Friday is known as Vernus Negro. So I think this is how you say it in Spanish. Because, let's check together. Black Friday. So this is how you say it in Spanish. So the answer is D. 
this is all what we have for today. Thank you for your time. See you in other videos.